Wow, a lot going on in this question. It might take me a whole minute just to read it. But one thing I'm noticing as I'm reading it is once these two drivers are both driving, so from 11 a.m. on, we're gaining a total of 60 miles each hour, 20 miles each hour from one of them and 40 miles each hour from the other. So if I can figure out how many total miles were driven at, say, noon, then I can just add 60 each hour to find out how many miles were driven at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, etc. It would be pretty easy to see then uh, at what point in time they drove a total of 240 miles. So we've got Ben driving east from 8 o'clock, and then we have Al driving west from 11 o'clock. That means that at 1 o'clock, Al's been driving for 2 hours at 40 miles per hour, and Ben's been driving for 5 hours at 20 miles per hour. That's 80 and 100 for 180. And we know that each additional hour they'll be adding a total of 60 miles, so we actually only need them to drive one more hour to reach that 240 mark. And therefore the correct answer is 2 o'clock. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.